Welcome to Coach Estrada's PE channel. We got five tips to improve your energy, and we're gonna go ahead and start off with this. Step one, it's called a superhero pose, which is done before the interview. You're gonna want to do something called a superhero pose. You could be Batman, Wonder Woman, if you're awesome. You can be Superman, and if you're gonna hold that pose for two minutes, put it, put your hands next to your hips, puff out your chest, and you're gonna speak confidently. It's gonna also help your nerves. And you're gonna hold this pose for two minutes. Okay, now why? Sometimes we build up the interview as the end all. It's only part of the process. I need you to help. I need you to practice being confident. It's also gonna help you calm down. It's also good for you. Step two. When you are meeting the interview panel for the first time, you need to be honest. If you are nervous, explain to them, hey, I'm feeling a little nervous. Your interview panel can then accommodate for you. When breaking the ice, you need to shake hands with confidence. You will get their names, write their names down on an index card, and this will help you address each panel member by their name. If you have any questions regarding the questions, that they gave you on the sheet. Sometimes they give you sheets with uh, you know, five to 10 questions. This is your opportunity to clarify and break down those questions that you might have found confusing or were poorly written. So, to break the ice, be honest, shake the hands with confidence, and ask any questions for any confusing questions. Number three, when describing yourself, Prepare something simple, easy to remember, such as being a poet. They're going to say, we'd like you to describe yourself. You say, well, I feel myself as a poet. And they're going to ask you, what, what do you mean by a poet? Polite, on time, enthusiastic, and a team player. Make sure to keep it brief while remaining humble. Make eye contact with all the panel members throughout the description. They want to know who you are. They want to be, they want to know if they can trust you. Tip number four, simplify your responses. Sometimes less is better. Sometimes less is more. As long as you answer the question, you knock it out. You need to make sure that you answer that question and don't beat around the bush. No waffling. If you're struggling, it is okay to write a couple points on your index card, control the pace of the interview, and then respond when you're ready. An example, if they ask me what is my biggest weakness, I'm going to say time management. I try to do too much in the time that we have in class, but, as a, but I am working every day to improve. I'm going to give examples how I'm going to improve. I'm going to do this strategy, this strategy, this strategy. I'm going to use this type of timer, and I am also going to do this. But don't go on and on and on about how you're so bad how you're always late, you never make it to school on time because you have an unreliable car. That, they don't need to hear that. They need to hear a brief idea of what you might be weak at, but then you go ahead and you say how you're going to improve on that. Tip number five, do you have any questions for us? This is your time to shine and shift the conversation from interview mode to conversation about the job site district and to make sure that this is the correct job career for you. Talk like the job is already yours. You're going to ask them, what type of professional development opportunities do you offer? Let it be a springboard to the rest of your questions. If you blank out, it's not the end of the world. Look at your index card. Have a couple extra questions written. And always ask what type of professional development opportunities do they offer. And how excited you are to be part of that team. How excited you want to develop as a professional. Please take those opportunities and grow. That is why they offer them. I got a couple extra tips. Practice interviews at other districts or at different job sites. If you're not confident, you need to do a couple practice interviews. It does not hurt to do a couple extra interviews. Now, when the panel speaks, do not cut them off. Listen and respond with enthusiasm. Let them talk because that is important for you to learn. They don't need somebody that's always going to be talk, 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 talk. They need a good listener and somebody that wants to learn. Now, 
always dress above the level of your position that you are interviewing for. If you are going to be the entry level position, that is okay. But you need to dress as if you're applying for a bigger and better job so that they know that you are respecting the job and that you are very interested. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and give me feedback and comment on these interview tips. I want your interview tips. I want to know what made you successful so that I can share it with other people and hopefully help them get the career that they deserve.